everyone. Today in this video, we are talking about the fluid flows and the different ways of their flow. Like how do they flow? Like how do we classify them? Right now, so before going into that, I just want you to remind you that fluids are someone that flows. Both liquids and gases falls into that category. They do possess a property called uh, viscosity because of which there is an opposition to the uh, internal motion of the fluids that they move like a set of layers. All these things I have already explained. So, basing on how do they are moving. So, if if all the particles of the fluid are having a constant velocity at a given point of a journey at a given point if all the particles are moving in the same way then that kind of a fluid flow is called as a streamlined fluid flow so if i have to draw a streamlined fluid flow it looks like this so at any point if i have taken this as a point at this point if i want to know the velocity of the fluid i shall draw a tangent to that here also I shall draw a tangent to that. At any point I shall draw a tangent. The tangent gives you the velocity of the fluid at that point. So if you notice in the given situation, all the particles of the fluid at that point, crossing that particular point P, are having same velocity. That kind of a fluid flow is called as a streamlined flow. So this is what do you mean by streamlined flow. So all the rules like we have explained in uh, like uh, Bernoulli's theorem, the equation of continuity and they are all valid only for the streamlined flow. So streamlined flow means all the particles of the fluid are having same velocity at a given point of a journey. Be careful, it doesn't mean it has same velocity at every point. No, at a given point all the particles of the fluid are having same velocity. That kind of a fluid flow is called as a streamlined flow. There is other way of flow that is turbulent flow, non streamlined flow. Simply means opposite to the streamlined flow that each particle is not having the velocity same at a given point, but at a given point, different parts of the fluid, different particles of the fluid are having different velocities. So, there is some velocity of the fluid. So, whether the fluid flow is a streamlined flow or a turbulent flow is, is decided basing on the velocity of the fluid. The whole velocity of a fluid, if it is less than a particular value, then the fluid flow will be streamlined more than that particular velocity then the fluid flow is a turbulent flow that velocity is called as critical velocity of the fluid so what is a critical velocity it is simply a velocity at which streamlined flow turns into a turbulent flow so if for any fluid if the velocity is less than critical velocity it's a streamlined flow if the velocity is more than critical velocity that's a turbulent flow at critical velocity, it's a junction where the fluid flow converts from streamlined flow to turbulent flow. So, that critical velocity depends on what factors is the point that we are discussing here in this video. So, it is observed that critical velocity, that's a velocity at which streamlined flow converts into a turbulent flow, is directly proportional to coefficient of viscosity. You know, coefficient of viscosity is a measure of nature of the fluid. More the coefficient of viscosity, more the viscous nature the fluid is. So, if the fluid is having more viscous nature, it has a higher critical velocity at which it converts from streamlined flow to turbulent flow. It is also noticed that critical velocity is inversely proportional to the diameter of the fluid flow means if it is having a higher cross section it will have a lesser critical velocity bigger the flow lesser the critical velocity shorter the flow higher the critical velocity at which streamlined flow converts into a turbulent flow it is also noticed that critical velocity is inversely proportional to the density of the fluid more the density more the thicker the fluid is lesser the critical velocity and vice versa so be careful more the diameter, less the critical velocity. More the density, less the critical velocity. More the coefficient of viscosity, more the 
more the coefficient of viscosity, more the critical velocity. So by combining all these things together, I can write an equation that critical velocity is directly proportional to coefficient of viscosity, inversely proportional to the diameter of the fluid flow and inversely proportional to the density of the fluid flow. So to eliminate this proportionality, we can keep a constant and that constant is called as Reynolds number. It's an experimental observation. It is just a number who don't have any units and dimensions. So in eliminating the proportionality, I can write critical velocity is constant Reynolds number into coefficient of viscosity by diameter of the fluid flow and the density of the fluid flow. So this Reynolds number, as I said, is just a number. It has no units and dimensions. It tells you what kind of a flow the fluid flow is, right? So it is experimentally observed that if Reynolds number is less than 1000, the fluid flow is a streamlined flow. All the particles of the fluid at a given point will be having the same velocity. If the Reynolds number is greater than 2000, that is a turbulent flow or a non streamlined flow. So particles will have different velocities. Of course, if Reynolds number is somewhere in between 1000 to 2000, it is difficult to predict, difficult to say whether it is a streamlined flow or a turbulent flow. The flow varies. Sometimes it could be streamlined flow, sometimes it could be turbulent flow, and so on, right? Flow varies from streamlined to turbulent and vice versa. So, so in this short video, what we would like to communicate is three points. Critical velocity is a velocity at which fluid flow converts from streamlined flow to turbulent flow. That depends on viscous nature of the fluid, that is coefficient of viscosity, inversely proportional to the diameter of the fluid flow and inversely proportional to density of the fluid. So by summing them together, we can have a constant called Reynolds number. The value of the Reynolds number decides whether the fluid flow is a streamlined flow or a turbulent flow. Less than 1000, streamlined flow. More than 2000, turbulent flow. In between 1000 and 2000, it is something like tossing up here and there. It is becoming this and that, right? That's what we want to communicate in this lesson. Thank you for watching.